Hello and welcome to the Garden Games. It's finally the moment we have all been waiting for. The Team Challenge! Peppa <laughs> and her family are having a sports day in the garden. It looks like our athletes are ready to begin. First up, the egg and spoon race. Ready? Steady? Go! Both teams are off to a strong start. Woo! Yeah! Oh no! How unlucky for the blue team! Try again, Danny! The red team has the lead and is starting the second challenge. The beanbag toss. There, there. Oh dear, the red team are having some problems. Here come Pepper and Daddy Pig. Wow, that was a great shot by Pepper. Uh oh. But Mummy Pig and George are back in the race. It's going to all come down to the last event. The Muddy Puddle Bucket Challenge. The first team to fill their bucket with mud wins. <laughs> oh, it looks like the blue team is off to a strong start. But don't count the red team out yet. Oh, now the red team is in the lead. No, it's the blue. No, no, red again. No, blue. Who is it going to be? That's it! It's a draw! Everyone wins! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Yay! <gasps> Yay! My little ones, I'm going to tell you a story. Peppa and her family are outside playing football. <sighs> oh, Mummy, the garden is looking a bit messy. Mm. You're right, Peppa. Grandpa Pig usually helps you with our garden, doesn't he? Yes, and he can't visit us right now and help us like he used to because we all need to stay home for a little while. I miss Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig too. <coughs> there, there, George. We will see them again very soon. I have an idea. Come on, everyone. Let's go inside. Why don't you two write letters to Grandpa and Granny Pig? What a good idea! Peppa and George can have Granny and Grandpa as their pen pals. What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a friend that you write letters to and then they write letters back to you. Does that mean I will get my very own post? Yes, Peppa. Ooh! 
Oh, how exciting! <laughs> Dear Granny and Grandpa, I miss you very much. Hope to see you soon. Love, Pepper. P.S. Our garden is very messy without your help. <laughs> Yay! Come on, Pepper and George. Now we have to take our letters to the post box. <laughs> Now all we have to do is wait. Right, Daddy? That's right, Pepper. I'm sure Granny and Grandpa will write back straight away. Ooh! Pepper, George, you have post. It looks like it's from your pen pals, Granny and Grandpa Pig. Yay! Hooray! Read it, Mummy, read it. Dear Pepper and George, thank you for your lovely letters. We miss you very much too, but it won't be too long until we are together again. Be sure to remind Mummy to water the plants. Lots of love, Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> the post is here! no post today. Oh, surprise! Granny, Grandpa, I thought I would just get a letter from you, but it's actually you. I told you we would see each other again soon, Pepper. We loved getting all your lovely letters. It made the time go so much quicker. We were great pen pals. We certainly were. Now, let me see that overgrown garden. I'm sure I have my work cut out for me. You definitely do, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through wow. the town. Miss Rabbit on the bus says, all aboard, all aboard, all aboard. Miss Rabbit on the bus says, all aboard, all through the town. <laughs> the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. All through the town The children on the bus They giggle, giggle, giggle Giggle, giggle, giggle Giggle, giggle, giggle The children on the bus They giggle, giggle, giggle All through the town The signals on the bus go Blink, blink, blink Blink, blink, blink Blink, blink, blink The signals on the bus go Blink, blink, blink all through the town The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep Beep, beep, beep Beep, beep, beep The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep All through the town Pepper on the bus goes Pepper on the bus goes through the town The wheels on the bus go round and round Round and round Round and round The wheels on the bus go round and round All through the town Now, my little ones, I'm going to tell you a story. I'll get it. OK, George, now throw the airplane as far as you can. <laughs> Pepper, George, something came in the post for you. Grandpa Pig has sent Pepper and George some sunflower seeds and a letter. What does the letter say, Mummy? It says, Dear Pepper and George, Here are some sunflower seeds to grow in your garden. Plant these in your vegetable patch and I will plant some in mine. 
Let's see who can grow the tallest sunflower. Love, Grandpa Pig. That sounds fun. I am going to grow a sunflower as tall as Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> May the best sunflower win. <laughs> Don't forget to wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. Look, George, it's growing. Oh, yes. You're going to make a lovely sunflower. Look, George, our sunflowers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> George, you're supposed to water the sunflowers, not me. These are coming along quite nicely. Pepper and George's sunflowers have grown very <laughs> tall indeed. Oh, Pepper and George, these sunflowers are beautiful. Let's take a picture to send to Grandpa Pig. Wonderful. Now let's wash our hands before we go inside. <laughs> Did you hear that, Granny Pig? I think it's your phone, Grandpa Pig. Oh, it's a picture of Pepper and George's sunflowers. Come look, Grandpa Pig. Splendid. Pepper and George's sunflowers are much taller than mine. Let's send them a picture so they know they have won. There. Perfect. It's for you, Pepper and George, from Grandpa Pig. He says, Well done, Pepper and George. You've grown the tallest sunflowers. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and Daddy Pig are baking a cake for Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy, this doesn't look like a chocolate cake to me. Hmm, you're right, Pepper. Oh, I know. Well done, Pepper. How could we forget the chocolate? Now we just have to mix it. Uh oh! Peppa and Daddy Pig are trying again to make a yummy chocolate cake for Mummy Pig's birthday. This looks perfect, Peppa. Now all we have to do is get the mixture in the tin. One, two, three! Mmm, oh. that would have been a very yummy cake. Oh dear. It seems making a cake can be tricky. Finally! Our cake is ready for the oven, Peppa. Hooray! Now we just have to wait. Hooray! Our cake is done! Cake! Cake! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Ooh, ooh. <gasps> Happy birthday, dear Mummy! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Pepper. This really is the perfect chocolate cake. Well, almost perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George for a ride in a hot air balloon. Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. That's a very big balloon you've got there. Why, thank you, Pepper. But it's not just any balloon, it's a hot air balloon. Why doesn't it just 
float away. <laughs> well, we need to fill it with hot air first. Also, I've tied it to the ground just in case. Well, it all looks very exciting. Should we go for a ride then? Yes, please. It's a very hot day. I think we should all wear our hats to help protect us from the sun. <laughs> Excellent! All aboard! It's a little bit cramped in here. Everybody ready? Here we go! Why isn't it going up, Miss Rabbit? I don't know. When I pull this handle, it usually makes the hot air balloon go up. I know, you forgot to untie the balloon from the ground. Oh yes, that's right. Don't worry, I'll untie it for you. There we go. Hurry Daddy Pig, the hot air balloon is leaving without you. Wait for me. Here we go. Up, up and away. Careful, Pepper. It's a long way down. Everything looks so small from up here. I think I can see our car from up here. Wow! And look, there's our house. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> I think it thinks you're a tree, Daddy. Its wings must be very tired to have flown all the way up here. Oh dear, where did my hat go? <laughs> Daddy, the little bird knocked your hat off your head. Oh dear, Daddy Pig's head isn't protected from the sun anymore. Don't worry Daddy Pig, your hat won't have gone far. Down we go. Hmm, I was sure your hat would be around here somewhere. There it is, your hat stuck in that tree. I'm not quite tall enough to reach it. Thank you, little bird. Thank you, Peppa. Thanks for taking us up in your hot air balloon, Miss Rabbit. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Peppa. Everyone had quite an adventure, didn't they? Yes. Especially Daddy's hat! <laughs> now, my little ones, I'm going to tell you a story. Push me, George. Huh? Oh, swinging just isn't the same without Susie. Peppa is missing her friends. Peppa, it's for you. Oh, how exciting! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. I have really missed you. Me too, Peppa. Shall we play a game? Oh, yes, please. OK, guess what animal I am? A butterfly. Yes! <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Peppa, you're a bunny. That's right, Susie. Well done. Oh, look. I wonder who that is. Hi, Danny. Danny, you're upside down. That's because I am a monkey hanging from a tree. <laughs> <laughs> is this better? No, now you're sideways, Danny. Just like Super Potato. It's Super Danny. <laughs> Hello, who's there? It's me, Candy. Candy, we can't see you. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise it was a video. <laughs> That's a bit too close now, Candy. Oh, sorry. There. Oh, I'm so happy to see you all. Would you like to hear a joke? It's very funny. Oh, yes, please. OK. Why did the banana go to the doctor? I don't know, Candy. 
Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because it wasn't peeling well. <laughs> Peppa, time for lunch. You can see your friends again tomorrow if you like. OK, Mummy. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow, Peppa. Bye, Danny. Bye, Candy. See you soon. Bye. Bye, Peppa. I'll have a new joke tomorrow. I can't wait, Candy. See you tomorrow. Peppa loves seeing her friends. What a lovely day to go outside. Have we got everything we need? Yes, I think so. I've got my ball and George has got his dinosaur. <coughs> Wonderful. Let's go. Oh dear, it's raining. Oh, I guess we'll have to go to the park another day. Oh, but George and I wanted to play on the slide. A little rain never hurt anyone. We just need to get dressed in our waterproof clothing. Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig help Pepper and George get dressed up in their wet weather clothing. Come on everyone, we can all stay nice and dry under my big umbrella. Yippee! <laughs> oh good, it stopped raining. You're right, Peppa. Slide! Come on, George, I'll race you to the top. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We can go down the slide together. <laughs> Ready, George? Slide! Whee! <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's only a little mud. Look at all those muddy puddles. Puddles! Watch me! Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. You try, George! George loves jumping in muddy puddles too! Wow! That's the biggest puddle I've ever seen! Me first! Oh dear! I seem to be stuck! Don't worry, Daddy! We can get you out! Pull! Pull! Almost there! Oh dear! Now we're all stuck in the muddy puddle! This must be the muddiest day ever! <laughs> Pepper and George are in their little red car. They are playing I Spy. I spy something green. Grass! Yes, clever George. Yes, well done George. You got that one quickly. Your turn Mummy. OK, I spy something big and blue. Oh look, it's the sea. Daddy, you didn't tell us we were going to the beach. We wanted it to be a surprise. But the beach isn't the only surprise. Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's camper van by the sea. Hooray! Bye, Pepper. Bye, George. Have fun. See you later. Bye. Bye! Come on, George. Let's go up to our room. Me first. Granny, Grandpa, look at us. Careful up there, you two. Beach! Beach! Wonderful idea, George. Let's go to the beach. Woo! Woo! Not too fast, Pepper and George. The sea isn't going anywhere. Pepper and George love to splash in the sea. 
almost as much as they love splashing in muddy puddles. Oh, that looks like fun. Come on, Grandpa. Everyone loves the sea. Mmm. Grandpa Pig doesn't seem to be going into the sea. Aren't you coming in, Grandpa? Not now, Pepper. I went for my swim this morning. Big wave coming through. Hey, Grandad Dog, can't you see I don't have my suit on? Grandpa Pig, who comes to the beach without their swimsuit? Well, I might as well come in now. Hooray! 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 Mummy and Daddy Pig have returned. Now, Peppa, what was your favourite part of the day? Well, my favourite part was very funny. Go on, Peppa. They will like that story. <laughs> Grandad Dog soaked Grandpa with a big wave while we were on the beach. Grandpa, wet! Yes, George, but Grandpa wasn't wearing a swimsuit. Oh, that does sound funny. I certainly did not see that giant wave coming. You're welcome. It's morning and Peppa is at her playgroup with all of her friends. Ayo! Yes, much better. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. Now, who can tell me what is so special about today? The, the carnival. carnival! That's correct! Ooh, voila! And right on time! Alright children, let's head outside! Here we go! Go on, have fun! Peppa and her friends don't know where to start. What should we do first, Susie? Um. The Ferris wheel? Yes! Hello, Susie! Hello, Peppa! Hello, Susie! Hello, Peppa! Let's do the carousel next, Susie. Emily, do you want to come on the carousel with us? Oh, yes, please! Any takers for the carousel? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. What should we do next? Grandpa Pig! Madam Gazelle said she needed a train driver for the fun fair, and you know I do love locomotives. Now, all aboard! Peppa must have had a very busy day at playgroup. <laughs> Looks like she isn't the only one. It's a lovely morning and Peppa and her friends are at a playgroup. Good morning, children. Uh -oh. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Ah, that's lovely. Now, I hope you have all done your homework. Yes, Madam Gazelle. Excellent. What have each of you decided to do for our playgroup talent show? I will be singing a song. <coughs> me, 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 me. I will be doing a dance. I will be making everyone laugh with my funny jokes. Ooh, I do love to laugh, Emily. And what about you, Danny? I will be doing some magic tricks, like this. Abracadabra, ziggity zat. On the top of my head is now a hat. 
and my talent will be jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> All of the children are very talented. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's go to the theatre so we can get lots of practice before the big show. Hooray! Ooh. <laughs> this is so exciting. I have never been on a real stage before. Me neither. Look at all the space I will have to sing my song. And look at all the different places I can sing. There are even sound effects for my magic tricks. Oh dear, it looks like Rebecca Rabbit is feeling a bit nervous. Are you all right, Rebecca? Oh, uh, well, I didn't know the stage would be so big. Don't worry, Rebecca. Today is going to be the best day ever. I'm not so sure. Isn't this exciting? Oh, yes. I can't wait to see all the lovely performances. And now it is time for the Playgroup Talent Show. Good afternoon to all of our family and friends and welcome to the Playgroup Talent Show. We have quite the show for you and we know you're going to enjoy it. Now please welcome Peppa Pig. Hooray! My talent is jumping in muddy puddles. Hooray! Hooray! Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Hooray! Why did the duck cross the road? Why did the duck cross the road? The chicken had the day off. <laughs> Abracadabra, prickly thorn, say goodbye to this unicorn. Oh! Oh no, it looks like Rebecca is feeling nervous. Come on, let's help her. Come on, Rebecca, you can do it. Well, that was very special, wasn't it? All of our children worked very hard, but the talent show trophy goes to Rebecca Rabbit. With a little help from her friends, she faced her fears and danced marvellously. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> it's morning, and Peppa has just woken up in her bedroom. Good morning, bright and shiny sun. Good morning, George. Whee! Good morning, Teddy. Hmm. I'm sure Teddy was right here. Uh oh. Maybe she's downstairs. Whee! Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, George. Mummy, have you seen Teddy anywhere? She wasn't there when I woke up this morning. Hmm, I'm sure she's here somewhere, Pepper. Pepper has an idea. I know. Maybe George and I can be detectives. Now we are ready to solve the mystery of the missing Teddy. Well, don't you look clever? Now, if I were a detective, I would look for Teddy's footprints. Look! 
Teddy Prince. This way. Maybe she's in here. Ooh. Any sign of Teddy, George? No. Someone is at the door. Ooh, I wonder who it is. Maybe it's Teddy. It's Susie Sheep and Mummy Sheep. Oh, hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I like your hats. We are being detectives. Do you want to play? Ooh, yes, please. What mystery are we trying to solve, Peppa? We are trying to find Teddy. She has gone missing, but we are following her Teddy Prince. Where could she be? Could she be in here? She's not in here either. Maybe Teddy is hiding in the bathroom. Oh, I give up. Teddy is lost forever. Peppa, George, Susie, come quick. Mummy Pig has found more Teddy prints. Ooh, these prints are leading outside, Peppa. Hmm. Look, they are heading toward our little red car. You are Teddy. What are you doing in here? That was silly of you to stay in the car, Teddy. The case of the missing Teddy is officially solved. Hooray! 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 Well done, detectives. I bet you have worked up an appetite following all of those clues. How about a snack? Ooh, yes, please. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Pepper are out on a shopping trip. It's George's birthday and there's a lot to organise. Wow, this place is ginormous, says Pepper. We need to get a present, a birthday cake, party streamers and balloons. The party is this afternoon at the pizzeria, says Mummy Pig. Ooh. Toys! Remember, we're looking for something for George, says Mummy Pig. Ooh, Mummy, how about this? I think George would like that. Now we'll need to get some party food, says Mummy Pig. Miss Rabbit is behind the counter. Hello, Mummy Pig. What can I get you today? Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. We're here for party food. It's George's birthday, says Pepper. Party food, hmm? Well, we have drinks down the aisle there, and oh, how about some veg for a nice salad? And with lots of jam and things for nice sandwiches. Mmm, says Pepper. <laughs> Mummy Pig spots the cookie shop. How about some cookies? Everyone likes cookies, suggests Mummy Pig. Oh, yes, please, says Pepper. Oh, Miss Rabbit, you work here too, says Pepper. Yes, well, who could resist the smell of these cookies? Now, what can I get you? We'll take a large bag of chocolate chip cookies, please, says Mummy Pig. Party food, cookies, present. Ah! We need to get a cake, says Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig spots the cake shop. Ah, birthday cake, we can get it here. Behind the counter is Miss Rabbit. Oh, hello Mummy Pig, what can I get you? Hello again, we're after a nice big birthday cake, says Mummy Pig. Here you go. Thank you, replies Mummy Pig. Hmm, 
I just know I'm forgetting something, says Mummy Pig. Balloons and streamers, Mummy, says Pepper. You're right, we can't have a party without balloons. Ah, here we go. Miss Rabbit, do you work at all the shops here, asks Mummy Pig. Well, I like balloons. Who doesn't like balloons, replies Miss Rabbit. I love balloons. Come on, now we've got everything, we need to start preparing for the party, says Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig arrives at the shopping centre with George. Attention everyone, George is here for his party, announces Pepper. George's friends and his family get ready to surprise him. Surprise! Happy birthday, George! Everyone cheers. What a surprise! George opens his present and loves his new toy. Everyone enjoys a piece of cake and lots of party food. Even Miss Rabbit brings round some ice cream for everyone. I think George liked his surprise, don't you? Today, Pepper is helping out Dr. Brown Bear in the Mobile Medical Center. Pepper is giving Teddy an x-ray. Oh no, there's an emergency. Someone has hurt themselves at the park. Pepper and Dr. Brown Bear quickly jump into the ambulance and drive off to the park. The children see the ambulance arrive and rush over to Pepper and Dr. Brown Bear. Everyone had been playing at the park. George had been playing in the sandpit. Candy Cat had been enjoying the slide. Susie Sheep had been feeding the ducks. Emily Elephant and Danny Dog had been swinging on the swings when Danny fell off and hurt himself. Oh dear, says Dr. Brown Bear, we'd best give you an x-ray. In a moment, the ambulance falls out into the medical center. Nurse Pepper helps Dr. Brown Bear take Danny to the x-ray machine. Danny lies on a bed and Dr. Brown Bear starts the machine. Danny looks worried, but Pepper calms him down. The children wait to see if Danny is okay. Rebecca Rabbit measures Gerald. He's very tall. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear checks Danny's x-ray. Good news! You're going to be just fine! <laughs> What's that sound? It's Police Officer Panda in his police car coming to see if everyone's okay. Everything is under control, Dr. Brown Bear tells him. Perhaps an ice cream will make everyone feel better. The children rush to Miss Rabbit in the ice cream van. Come on, Pepper and George, time to go home, calls Mummy Pig. Pepper arrives home and she and George give Daddy Pig a big hug. After a bath, it's time to get into pyjamas and climb into bed. What an exciting day! It's an exciting day for Pepper and her friends. After weeks of practicing and rehearsing, their play is ready for their audience to see. Candy Cat sells tickets, whilst Danny Dog shows people to their seats. The audience chatter and murmur excitedly. The lights dim down, the curtain rises, and the play begins. It's Pepper's home. A set of the kitchen is on the stage. Daddy Pig is sat at the breakfast table. A basket of laundry is on the stage, as well as Polly Parrot on her perch. Polly Parrot is staying with them whilst Granny and Grandpa Pig are on holiday. That was a yummy breakfast. Time to get ready for work, says Daddy Pig. Now, where are my keys, he says. But as he looks around, he knocks over Polly Parrot. Oh no, Polly's got loose. Come back here, Daddy Pig cries. Off to the side of the stage, Susie Sheep uses a megaphone to perform the parrot's voice. Calls Susie Sheep pretending to be the parrot. <laughs> come on, Polly, come back. Daddy Pig says. Oh no, not outside. Oh dear, 
I'm going to have to find Polly. The set has changed to the outside of Peppa's house. Where has Polly Parrot got to? Says Daddy Pig. It's behind you! Cry the audience laughing. Behind me? Daddy Pig looks behind him. No, Polly isn't there. It's behind you! Laughed the audience. Are you sure? Daddy Pig asked the audience. Yes! Cry the audience. Ark, it's behind you! It's behind you, Ark! Squawks Polly. <laughs> Polly, come back here! Daddy Pig calls. I have an idea how to follow her. I'll follow her in my car. Brum, brum. I'll rescue you, Polly. Brum, brum. The audience clap and cheer. I wonder what will happen in part two. The audience take their seats for part two of the show. The lights dim down and the curtain rises. It's Peppa's playgroup. Madame Gazelle is on stage and Peppa, George and some of Peppa's friends are pretending to be in school. Now children, today we'll be looking at the alphabet, says Madame Gazelle. Now, does anybody know where I put my chalk? Behind me? No, my chalk isn't behind me, says Madame Gazelle. Who said that? Was that you, George? asked Pepper. <laughs> says George. Come back here, come back here, There's something very strange going on here, says Pepper. Daddy! Pepper and George call. Hello, you two. I don't suppose you've seen Polly Parrot recently. A parrot? asked Madame Gazelle. Polly Parrot flew out of the window, says Daddy Pig. Oh dear, says Pepper. It's behind you, call the audience. There's Polly Parrot, Daddy, calls Pepper. We have to follow Polly, says Daddy Pig. There she goes, calls Pepper. She's going back to the house, says Daddy Pig. Mummy Pig is putting birdseed into Polly's bowl. So that's why Polly flew home. Polly knew it was time for tea, laughs Daddy Pig. That sounds like rain, says Pepper. And you know what that means. Muddy puddles! Come on, George! Pepper and her friends take a bow and the audience applauds. I think they like the show, don't you? Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a treat in store today for Pepper and George. They're taking the family out for a trip to the cinema. Pepper and George are excited. But what film to watch? Daddy Pig checks the newspaper to see what films are showing. Ooh, the new Super Potato movie. What about this? asked Daddy Pig. Pepper and George love Super Potato. The family jump into the car and drive to the cinema. Pepper recognises the building. It's the theatre where her and George perform their play. The family gets some popcorn and drinks, head to the screen and take their seats. A lot of Pepper's friends are here for the movie too. The lights go down and the film begins. Super Potato to the rescue! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Apples the family agree this was a lovely surprise. Eat them all as part of your seven. Rebecca Rabbit, Susie Sheep and Zoe Zebra are looking for Pepper. 
Peppa told them to meet them near the big yellow box, but she isn't there. The box suddenly starts to wobble and shake. Susie spots that the box is moving. Zoe knocks on the box and wonders if someone's inside. Rebecca looks a bit nervous. Surprise! laughs Peppa. Susie asks Peppa what the big yellow box is. It's Peppa's secret surprise. Following Peppa, she leads them to some enormous presents. Rebecca, Zoe and Susie are very excited. Peppa suggests they open the boxes. Zoe's found a surprise bag. Rebecca's found one too. Zoe Zebra's found a party hat. Rebecca's found some fairy wings. Peppa wonders what else is in the boxes. Peppa finds a glittery, sparkly dress. Rebecca has her own sparkly dress too. Zoe Zebra has found the glittery cloak and she thinks it will look great with Peppa's dress. Susie Sheep pulls a long roll of stickers out of a drawer. Peppa's friends decide to decorate their party hats. Peppa throws a small box down. She wonders if there's a present inside. Susie, Rebecca and Zoe quickly go back to searching the drawers and three more boxes are found. A present for everyone! Rebecca suggests that they decorate the presents with stickers and gems. Carefully, Peppa and her friends place stickers and gems on their gifts to each other. After exchanging their gifts, Peppa and her friends open their presents. Zoe has a rubber duck. Rebecca has a hairbrush. Susie has got a bag. But Peppa's present has gone missing. Poor Peppa. Just then, Daddy Pig arrives to collect Peppa. Daddy Pig finds a present on the floor and wonders who it's for. <laughs> well, that was a very surprising day. Pepper and George are doing what they love to do most of all, jumping in muddy puddles. But grey clouds begin to form. And oh no, it begins to rain. Pepper and George rush into the house to stay dry. Daddy Pig tells them that they came in at the right time. It's almost dinner time. Pepper and George come into the kitchen and sit down, but oh dear, muddy footprints on the floor. <laughs> Mummy Pig isn't pleased. Pepper and George are to have a bath after dinner. The family settle down for their dinner. Pepper and George are watching TV. Mummy Pig asks if they've had their bath yet. Pepper and George look at each other. We will, replies Peppa. Sometime later, Peppa is playing with in the playroom. And George is in the bedroom playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Mummy Pig asks Peppa and George if they've had their bath yet. Not yet, Mummy, Peppa says. Meanwhile, Daddy Pig has been running the bath and getting it warm and bubbly for Peppa and George. Peppa, George, bath time, he calls.
Daddy Pig says if they get themselves clean and in their pyjamas, he has a super special surprise for them both before they go to sleep. Pepper and George put on their pyjamas, brush their teeth, and meet Mummy and Daddy Pig in the attic study. Daddy Pig has put up his old telescope. He asks Pepper to look through, but Pepper says it's been raining. All they'll see is clouds. He laughs and tells Pepper and George that it stopped raining whilst they were in the bath. Pepper looks through the telescope and sees something whoosh across the sky. A shooting star. Daddy Pig was right. This is a super special surprise. The two begin to yawn. It's time for bed. Pepper and George climb into bed, dreaming of the stars. Good night, Pepper and George.